This joint between roof and wall is the area that's most susceptible to leaking. So when you seal this up with mastic, do a good job. If you're going to drill and inject foam in here, and we're coming along and drilling every six to eight, ten inches before we inject two-part foam in, when you drill the hole that goes down above the above the eave or above the supporting wall below, that's why we use a drill bit this long. Because I want to drill all the way through the entire roof pan, right down into the wall. Then when we inject the foam at that corner, we're going to give it an extra long shot. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to seal between these two skins and on the bottom of the spline that goes in this location. Think about it. All the way down here, if air can get in between those two skins, there's nothing between them right here. Everybody's up here putting mastic in the inside the joint and inside the other panel. And air, and if the panels don't come all the way together, it's a clean shot for air to move through. I've had three different projects where I've been called back. Fortunately, all of them were roof panels only, and it was the stick framer who built his stick frame wall up to and didn't properly seal between the stick framing and the roof panel. There was no seal whatsoever, and the air went up underneath the T and G ceiling that had been applied till it hit a dew point. The water started dripping on the guy's Sunday morning paper. That happened three different times. Okay, so the sealing right there is incredibly important. Questions?